Nick Harbin with your national news briefing. New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet says his state is leading the world on vaccination rates after reaching the 80% double jab milestone. Further freedoms will be unlocked from tomorrow, including standing up drinking in pubs and more household visits. Among other changes, school kids in kindy, year one and year 12 are returning for face-to-face -face learning with masks for all staff and high school students. I want to thank everybody uh, for the work that they've done, the efforts they've made, the sacrifices they've made, um, and that's ensured that globally, not just nationally, uh, New South Wales has led the way. Uh, it is the people of New South Wales that are leading our nation out of this pandemic. New South Wales has seen a further 10 deaths and 301 new cases overnight. As Victoria waits to hear about changes to the state's Freedom Roadmap, another 1,838 new COVID cases have been recorded. There's also been a further seven deaths. A new antiviral drug to help in the fight against COVID is on its way to Australia. Health Minister Greg Hunt says the federal government has secured 15,000 doses of the pill Ronaprev, which is taken every 12 hours for five days. Will be made available to patients in hospital in October for uh, helping to uh, slow uh, the development and to reduce the consequences of COVID-19. And the search continues in WA's north after a four-year-old girl went missing from a campsite 50 kilometres north of Carnarvon. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. They're underway in the women's big bash in Hobart. The Sydney Sixers won the toss and sent the home side into bat. The Hurricanes two for 35 after eight overs. It's day three of the Sheffield Shield at Adelaide Oval with Queensland resuming their second innings at two for 63. They still trail South Australia's first dig by 65 runs. WA and Tasmania get their Shield game underway at the WACA later this morning. And the T20 World Cup starts tonight with Oman taking on Papua New Guinea. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Wan and John. This is SAFM Weather. A few showers in Mount Gambia today with a max of 17 degrees. We're dropping to 6 tonight, then a shower or 2 for tomorrow with 18. Mostly sunny on Tuesday with some rain on Wednesday, Arvo. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app. <laughs>